Hi, I'm Heidi Larsen. I'm the supply chain princess of Plus7. And today I will share with you how you can use strategic overview of your suppliers uh, by using the Kaliak model to create high performance teams in your supply chain. The questions that I get over and over again when I'm solving complex issues in my clients' supply chains so or doing keynote speeches and workshops and trainings is how can we create high performance teams in our supply chain that will enable us to actually spend our time most uh, efficiently uh, and to create a better bottom line for our companies. In the first quadrant, you will have low profitability and low risk, and this is where you will find the non-critical items. I think it goes without saying that this is where you should look into what digitalization can do for you, and you should not spend your time uh, in this quadrant. At the high profitability and low risk quadrant, you will have the leverage products. And this is actually where I see far the most purchases get lost in this quadrant. And this is because you actually have the buying power over your supplier, meaning that you're able to get very good prices. Sometimes I see that the prices are squeezed a little bit too much, and this actually breaks the necks uh, of the suppliers. And this means that you have to spend a lot of your time sourcing for new supplier over and over again. In the quadrant of low profitability but high risk, you will find the bottleneck products. And this is actually where a lot of purchases also get lost and they spend far the most of their time on. And I perfectly understand why. This is where you have the suppliers that are at high risk. And you will, of course, try to lower that risk by building relations to those suppliers. But as you're not always able to honor that with orders, as you don't have the volume to back that, it becomes a very complex uh, quadrant to work in. And this is a time monster hidden uh, in this quadrant. So this is not where you should spend the time on. In the strategic quadrant, you will have high profitability and high risk. And this is where it will make perfectly sense to enter strong and committed collaborations with your suppliers, where you could do uh, innovative projects that will uh, strengthen your business in the future. And this is also by spending your time and focus in this quadrant, you will prevent fires from occurring in your supply chain. So this is how you could actually uh, create high performance teams in your supply chain by using your time in a much better way in the future.